jealousy when my colleagues do get to visit Japan's first zero waste town, Kamikaze. So when I got to Tokushima, I knew I had to visit no matter what. So after a long bus ride and seeing one of the loneliest bus stops in Japan, I came to the lovely town of Kamikaze, and it didn't disappoint. Of course, Kamikaze Zero Waste Center was the place to go. This is where residents divide their household garbage waste into 47 categories and pass on any usable items to anyone who needs them. The building is made of upcycle and local materials. There is an open event space, a co-working space, and even a hotel for guests to stay the night. Kamikaze's Zero Waste Secret hasn't changed since we reported on it. Education and community remain the key drivers, and Zero Waste Center is a gathering point for them. It has even become a culture in Kamikaze. I overheard a family talking about how to correctly divide their garbage as though it was daily conversation. So even after 20 years since they first started to categorize their garbage, Kamikaze is still setting themselves as a role model for the rest of Japan.